So hold on to your butts. We're about to get into the second game of the Group B Finals. Winner goes through to play up against Vegas Squadron on the 28th. And uh, we have ourselves a carry ancient apparition as long as no one does any changes. Let's keep an eye just to make sure there isn't any shenanigans. Yeah, we get ourselves a pause. Hopefully it won't be 20 minutes like the last game. Everybody's picked up their items. Or everybody on the side of Empire looking to pick up. So, the rotations come through, everyone's got their items, and the pause is going to be lifted as we get ourselves underway. Silent vans come, moving themselves down to the boat lane, so we're not going to see the big four man smoke from M19 this time. Clockwork coming around the back, but Blizzy is in close with Silent. Silent's just going to see him, and both heroes just turn themselves away and go for the walk away. Thirty seconds. So Ghost to got himself ten tangos. So the regen is definitely there. Yeah, and everybody's stacking up. It looks like it's just going to be standard runes this time. The battle begins. Yeah. As he walks himself up and gets himself the bottom, but the trade is there, as Ghostic does get the dire's top. Now mid lane, it is going to be FM up against the. Okay, Muriel swap round. Yeah, Pikachu's on the Beastmaster. Uh, let's take a look at this. So Muriel swaps the Ancient Apparition. Yumi's on the Nyx Assassin. Pikachu on the Beastmaster. Blizzy on the Clockwork, and Nyx on the Medusa. Uh, just reacting to that Phantom Lancer pickup. Looks like as there's going to be a coconut drop. This could be first blood. The axes are flying up, but Muriel getting pretty low. This Phantom Lance. It's going to be FM that draws the first blood. Pops the axe, just fly through, cancel in the salve. But Coconut's doing work, and Muriel got locked down and killed off by FN. So, meanwhile, the top lane, Yumi rotates around. He's got the level 1 mana burn. Ghost, he's going to be taking a lot of harass from this, but he's got the tangos to keep himself healthy. Uh, mid lane, once again. Is that another salve coming out? It looks like it was a second salve coming out for FN just to keep himself healthy if he needs to. Meanwhile, bot lane, it's going to be silent up against Blizzy solo, it looks like, and Blizzy not having the best of times. Even though we should just be able to sit in lane and soak this experience, maybe not get the last hits, but with Jarocopter's low attack range, he's getting all the denies, though. 
Mid lane once again. Affect and just put in a little bit for us onto Muriel. As now, the rotation from Apotka and Yume, they're going to find each other in the river. It's level 2 onto Yume, so he does have that detail if he needs to use it. Picks himself up the room, moves himself back, bot lane, silent. Again, the right clicks onto Blizzy once again. As far as regen goes, Clockwork still has 5, so must have taken 10 tangos himself. As mid Muriel. Axes fly through, FN just catches the back end of them and then moves himself away. But with Mural here in the mid lane, FN is going to be picking up the XP. He doesn't seem too bothered about the two heroes. Now on the bot, the cogs come out, so Silent in a little bit of trouble. Doesn't have the mana now for the Rocket Bride, so this could be a kill going the way of M19. Oof. Just gets himself into the trees in time. Blizzy can't finish off the kill. Bansko rotates in with the heal. Just to keep Silent a little bit healthy. Meanwhile, back in the mid lane. FN forced up to his tower now. He's got himself two points into the Phantom Lance. So he should be able to do a decent amount of burst down to Pikachu. If Pikachu just keeps carrying on coming forward. Back on the bot lane. There's going to be the Coconut bouncing around again. Again, only level one on the Paralyzing Cast. So it's only two bounces. Goes the cup on the top. But bot lane, Blizzy's not being scared off. Um, just keeps coming forward against Silent. And Silent keeping levels. So that's pretty good for the clockwork. Meanwhile, again, mid lane, the harass comes out. FN throwing the Phantom Lancers, Pikachu throwing the axes. And the Poshka, they just keep meeting in the river, I guess, just trying to scurry each other away. Uh, go for the runes, there's going to be FN getting pretty low. Tries to go for the dodge. And what region does he have? Only has himself a fairy fire. So Pikachu with the ball doing a lot of damage. Advanced score. Brings FN his bottle. There's going to be the cask coming through, as well as the Phantom Lance coming out from FN, but the damage just isn't there. So silent. Going towards the phase boots. I actually think, as far as last hits go, yeah, Blizzy's not doing that bad 15 to the 13 of the um, puck on the top lane. It's also both. Off lane is having a little bit of a good time. There's going to be the castles once Phantom Lance Pikachu. This could be a second kill. Empire, Vance Core, it's three heroes. Yumi couldn't get there in time. And Vance Core picks up that kill. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Silent. What he's going to do is just going towards the phase boots and he's not actually going to look for the kill onto Blizzy. As Vansko rotates in, pulls the creeps round. And Pikachu Muriel just still sitting in this mid lane from the top lane. Wants to give Pikachu as much of an advantage as possible and now that FN's level 5 as well. Got himself a point into the Phantom Rush. Poshka just probably strikes himself up onto the high ground. Just looking for the stack. Is going to be able to get it. Muriel gets the deny on the room of Poshka. Burrow strike. Is it in range? Just a wee bit out. Just what the doctor ordered. So the axes fly through. FN taking a lot of brass. But again, we've seen Empire turn this around twice. Pikachu charges up. Lane, are they going to go for it on the bottom lane? The call down comes through and Blizzy is going to be picked up by Silent. Enjoy your nap! You may come through, got two points into the Impel FN. Mipos can move him through from the trees. F 
Hoffman may be using himself as bait to get the super food in. Yumi comes through, that's going to be the bonus wreck into the tree, so Phantom Lance comes out as well, and he doesn't have the Spike Carapace just yet. Is it going to be enough damage? Barely gets the TP away. I think the tower was milliseconds away from finding the kill, though. So now Nyx, Nyx Assassin. Just Nyx. Nyx Assassin's being played up by Ghostic. By Yumi even. Get my teams mixed up. And my players mixed up. It's going to be a long day. But yeah, Nyx has got himself the mana shield now. He's got four points into the Mystic Snake. So um, Ghostic does need to be careful about coming up close. Because if the Snake bounces to him, it's going to be a lot of HP and a lot of mana being drained from him. Dyer are scanning. Speaking of the Nyx Assassin, he's rotated himself around and it looks like the Gyrocopter has abandoned this lane. Maybe knowing that there's two heroes missing on the map. Um, just didn't want to put himself in harm's way, so he's recruited his two supports. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Death and gold are linked. So he's going to go towards the Mask of Madness. Fans go. Just got himself Boots Award. He's going towards the, the Magic Stick top lane. Ghostic is only level 5. If you take a look at the hero levels, Clockwork's level 6, so he does have the hook. Should be able to go roam. And this is where FN could be in a little bit of trouble in the mid lane. With that lockdown potential, which way does Blizzy go here? Down coming through. It's going to be Yumi being picked up. Three heroes from the side of Empire. Four to zero. And Muriel Blizzy forced to abandon the plan to attack the mid lane. Uh, attack the bottom lane. FM then goes straight through the defusal. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's structures are falling. And it just leaves. Beastmaster pushing this mid lane as he got himself the four points. He does have four points to call the wild now. So gonna be able to pick himself up with neutral creeps. And start stacking a Beastmaster on. Top lane. Mana Burn comes out onto Ghost Stick. And Poshka is the advanced car rotating through from the right hand side as well. So it's gonna be the cast dropped, but no real follow up. So with the hawk rotating over, doesn't have that invis anymore. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. He may be able to find FN though. He's gonna go for the regen rune road. It's available. The Phantom Lance comes up. Pikachu taking a lot of damage from these illusions. The chase comes through. Ghost is gonna be there with the dream call as well. Ghost for the TP. Pikachu should be able to get himself away. The cast is gonna be dropped and as well as the Maledict. The roar comes out onto Vansko. Vansko may take a drop. Goes down to Pikachu with his neutral creeps as well as his bow, but FN picks the kill up. So Phantom Lancer. Net worth. Top of the net worth. A thousand gold above the Beastmaster. Quite close to the Diffuser Blade as well. He's got enough for the Rub of the Magi. I just need gold now for the recipe. But bot lane. Dyer's middle Muriel's the got himself the cold feet three points into that next no stone gaze just yet dire structures are fortified dire's middle tower is under attack but vansko tp's in an instantly silent vansko move themselves away five to two 11 minutes in radiance bottom tower is under attack we are on the mid pikachu what's he going to try and do here with their friends just going to try and push the lane out just keep it even in the river, keep the pressure off this tier 1 tower that's getting pretty low. You can clear the illusions off from 
PL quite effectively with those axes. He's got two points in those. Now Vance go caught under the trees. The rocket float comes out. I think it's just just able to see him. But there's not going to be a hook as Blizzy rotates in. Does he throw it yet? Just holding Vance Co. In the trees, cast not going to bounce going on the mark. It's going to be there with the mana shield. This should be the death of Vance Co. Nyx does pick it up. Meanwhile, top of the river, there's going to be. Looks like it was a smoke to the approach of a torture. It looks like he's going to go with the axis to fall down. You think one takes an into that. Spike Carapace. Keep him ghosting locked down for now, but I don't think Yumi gets away. The chase comes out. The Boris Strike is going to come to the right clicks. Boris Strike comes out. And Poshka picks up the kill. While Nyx picks up the tier 1 tower on the bot. Comes off the Mask of Madness and Phase Boots. Again, 4 points into the Snakes. 4 points into the Split Shot now as well. So he's going to become a pushing master. Radiance middle tower is under attack. So Blizzy trying to... Yeah, gets the TP away. FN has the Diffuser Blade now, so that's going to be a good damage. going to be great going against the Diffuser. Axis fly out. Pikachu doesn't have the roll for 33. And now FN looks like he wants to chase with the Lance. So many illusions coming out. Yumi comes in through the stun with the Impale. But with the Ice Blast as well as the root, this could be the death of FN. Is there going to be an Axis to follow up? It just barely off the mark as he dodges towards the right. Pikachu low on health and mana, but Yumi gets it with the mana burn. Maposhka reassuring his teammate. Maybe reassuring himself. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Come and stop the vendetta form. But nobody used it just yet, as the creeps in the mid lane. The cooldown was actually used to clear these off. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Spike Carapace cancels off the sandstorm. And he keeps walking himself through with this vendetta form, but it doesn't look like he wants to make a move. No backup coming through from the rest of his team. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. The Dyer scan, they see the smoke. It looks like they want to group up for a fight. The Nyx Assassin picks up the illusion of Poshka's there into the Roshan pit. But now with four or five heroes up from Empire in this mid lane, are they going to go for the push? Maybe try and take a team fight, Ghostic? Just blinks himself down to the low ground. The Dream Call was available if he wanted to blink forward onto Nyx. The hook comes through. Goes to phase shifts away the impale. The silence comes out, still holding the dream call for now. And it looks like Clockwork will be taking down the Maledict, the ghost. Yeah, FN secures the kill onto Blizzard, but now Yumi just moves himself away. Ghosting doesn't move himself back in. There's going to be the TP. It's a cast to cancel this. One second away. So Medusa, 8.5k net worth, 2k above the PL, moving towards the Skadi. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiant are scanning. Pikachu in the mid, he's got himself to level 11, 2.7k. Assuming it goes towards the, um, the Necrobook with the... Goes to come on, Poshka, pushing up the top lane. Dyer's top tower is under attack. And the tier one tower should fall. It looks like there's not going to be any defense coming into it. They've got themselves a Kati to push in. So we've got the There's tier one tower on the mid lane. for the radius could take a lot of paras as well. It looks like Dyer's with the Beastmaster is creeps, should be able to secure this silent. Hang himself forward. Oh, the strike comes through. They're going to be able to find the next assassin with the cooldown. Spike Carapace, but the second one, Meposhka, is he going to be able to get the last right click? They've got no reveal. So this Vendor form should be next assassins. No, they get the Burrow Strike through. It's a blind Burrow Strike from Meposhka. And they find the kill. They won't hook. Not going to be on the mark for Silent. Yeah. 
9 to 4, 16 minutes in. Empire looking like they're going to be able to get themselves to the 10 kills first. So Ghostick, he's got himself the blink, going towards the Yule Scepter. Poshka has the blink now as well. This could be big, it's going to be a double smoke coming out. Looks like the hunting for the Medusa, Pucks rotating over as well. Does see the Nyx, there's going to be the blink for a strike, the silence comes out as well, so we can't get the mana shield off. And with the Maledict as well as the Death Ward. Nyx is going to take a fall. FN's not done yet though, he gets the charge on Muriel. Muriel being chased down, the double throw strike in Clockwork could be the third kill of this fight. Even with the cogs, FN gets himself a triple. You want mid lane, silent pushing out. You may as well as Pikachu is there to try and push it back, but it looks like FN, they would have gone for the big push on the top lane, get themselves a tier 2 tower. And it's 12 to 4, 17 minutes in. Dyer's structures are fortified. Sentry's being dropped, he you knows Yumi's around here somewhere, he moves himself just outside of the range, Ice Blast. <laughs> FN dodges himself back into this, but Yumi, I think we're going to try and bait it out, the Impale's going to be off the mark, FN runs himself away, should not go down to the Shatter, no, he's got himself a decent amount of health, he's got himself a Diffusal Blade to slow down Yumi on the chase now as well, and just gets himself out. We yeah, are coin. So I thought Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Go for it. I can hear the Burrow Strike, Maposhka, they're going to try and fight Roshan. Roshan being done by Nyx, Pikachu, you need to be quick on the uptake here. The up comes through with the Spike Carabas, so he's not going to be able to jump. Fans got coming in, he's got himself the Maledict as well as the Cask if he wants to throw this out. It's just going to bounce between the Necros. Meanwhile, back lines, they do take down Yumi. And now Roshan. Not at all that healthy, and it looks like Empire are going to be able to steal this Roshan away from M19. Top Dyer, Jungle, Ghostick making a move onto Blizzy. Back in the Roshan pit, it is going to go Empire's way. The hook comes through, but the Aegis already picked up Blizzy a little bit too late to be able to take that Roshan, and it is going to pay with his life. Get ourselves a pause. Okay, we're going to be going silent pretty low, but he does have the mask of mana, so the heal should come through. Ghostic as well. Close to the heal scepter. Uh, gold wise anyway. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Then with the Aegis, he's got himself a Yasha and his stash. Gonna TP himself up, going to the solo push with his illusions. Should be able to make a quick work of this creep wave. Push comes in from the Beastmaster on the tier 2 with the, the Necro Bucks as well as the Ryan Blue. And Fire TP's down silently. Hold up, the roll's gonna be there, the roll strike a little bit too short. The Posh can't get the kill, but he can't get the deny onto the tier 2 tower if that's what they really want. Meanwhile, back on the top lane, FN. So we're pushing this tier 2 it's down to about a third of its health. In fact, it's about a quarter now. Actually, rotates back in, the Ice Blast must have done work, and he gets the kill onto the clock. Um, Sorry, the Jarrow Cop. The hook comes through onto FN. Is he going to be able to dodge away from this? The Cogs push him back out, though. So Yumi trying to run himself up the river to try and maybe join the fight. 
for the three heroes. The epicenter comes through onto three as well. Muriel getting taken low. Ghostic finds the kill. As Nyx gets the return kill onto the Sand King, Ghostic being chased down. Nyx with the Ice Guard, he's going to be able to slow up Ghostic. Ghostic is going to be able to get himself away. Mana Shield being burnt down. But Ghostic may be taken down. Yeah, the right click connects. And Yubi gets there as the fight's over. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. So Witch Doctor has got himself a turn. No charges on that just yet, no mana. If we take a look at the actual items, it's 15 to 7 as well during the fight. So FN got himself the boots of travel, the Diffusal Blade, Yasha. As well as the bottle, still keeps the Aegis. Ghostic still going towards the Yule Setra, I do believe. Dying puts him a little bit on the back foot. Meanwhile, Pikachu. So he's got himself the level 2 Necrocomicon. Necro Book. Got himself a Medallion of Courage as well as the Boots of Travel, so he's going to be able to split push effectively. Where needs be. And Nyx with the Scar, he got himself the Mask of Manus and a Yasha as well. And he's learnt his lesson, keeps the Mana Shield on from now on. And Pikachu picks up Naposhka, just rotates in. And uh, nobody's safe. The roll was committed for that. I think the, um, the Vendetta may have been used as well. So Nick's in the Vendetta form. Looks like he's just going to be doing a little bit of scouting. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. He's FN, he's still in the Vendetta form. There's going to be the Rocket Flare as well, but they need to see which one's a real FN, and he's going to use his Manta style that he's just picked up. TP's out, Yumi, is he going to do this? The Impale goes off, and FN has backup as well. If you want to try and go for this fight, Yumi. No Vendetta form for 32, no TP, but FN goes the wrong way. Vansko should spot him out, is going to be able to spot him out. Does he throw the cask for the catch? He just gets the range to the FN. If you can get the Phantom Run to rush the Fuse Blade, should be able to pick this up with the Lance, but he decides not to go for it. May actually go down to the Maledict. Oof, the Spike Carapace, just to keep him alive. It's a man. Pikachu with the push, but the Fox with the Sand Stuff to try and delay. Gets close back through, but there's going to be the Ice Blast. Ghost comes through, does get a good, good, good call, but the Epicenter comes through just before the Rock can get off. So Pikachu still picks up the kill, but he does get himself away with the call down silent. Gets the return kill. Delaying FN, trying to solo push. TP <laughs> cancelled by Yumi though with the Impale. Just to be a bit of a pain in the ass um, to the Phantom Lord to make him walk from the shrine. You know, none of these TP into his creeps. But uh, Empire take the tier 1 tower, but M19 grouping up. So if you want to try and take a fight, the Sun King's up on his own on the top lane, so this could be the advantage of the M19 need to try and take a fight, win a fight as well. The hook comes through, lands on the tower, and this is the ice pass for Lizzie. PKP is popped, so it could be the turn kill on Lizzie. Not planning for this, and Silent picks it up. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Run in hell! You mean there's no vision to spot out the Nyx, but there is going to be a shrine, so it's there as well. And the Nyx assassin decides against it. Rotation coming in from Yumi. There's going to be a big smoke, but with the Vendetta form just wearing off. 
I do so top of the hill. The rotation comes around. You are going to see this in the blink call. This could be the green call committed as well. It looks like the Phantom Lancer, as well as the rest of the team, should be able to find the door for the Medusa Rooster. The M4 stabbed away, but next, I don't think he gets him to out. This turns it around with the Stone Gaze. does still go down, but does find the return kill onto Ghost of Nero being slowed down now by the Diffuser Blade, it looks like. Hold on, just on the end of it. Muriel gets himself away. Missile should not be enough. Blizzard finds a return call on the Silent with the hook. Pikachu being right clicked down by FN. There's a play mail pop by Blizzard, but it's not going to be extremely effective as FN and his illusions were focused on Pikachu. Bounce core drops the cask. Just to try and delay the rotation in from M19. The Poshka coming in from behind as well. Yumi wants to kill onto FN. FN pretty low. There's no shrine available. So Vansko may be the target here, Yumi. Ice Blast comes through, Impale a little bit off the map, but with the TP and the Mana Burn. The mana Burn and the Ice Blast going to be able to clean that one up. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. I'm out! So Sanking. Got himself a four staff of Blink Dagger. Take a look at the items actually. Let's see what everyone's got. Sans got himself the Dragon Lance. FN looks like he's going towards the heart. And he does have the biggest piece of that item just in the illusion. Nyx has himself, and I mean the Medusa, Nyx. Got himself the Aghanim Scepter. So it's actually the it's the Mystic Snake in it that gets upgraded from that. So I'm going to go towards the full hurricane pike. Uh, Ghost of Kossiak, got himself. Yules, Blink, going towards the Lincolns. Roshan is back up in the next 46 seconds if Empire wants to stack up for this. 19 to 12, 28 minutes in. Nearly needs about another 1200 gold for the heart on FN. Muriel going towards the axe actually, he's got himself one piece of it. And Nyx just farms so fast going towards the Mantis style into the butterfly. Gonna make it hard for FN to right click him down. Smoke not available for Vans core. What is sorry? Yeah, if he wants to use it, he's got Maposhka and Silent there. They can try and go for a rotation. But it looks like M19. I'm going to be putting pressure onto the top lane. Maybe going to go for a five-man fight after they take this tier one tower as well. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. So silent. Able to find the kill, Ghosting the world's gonna go, and it looks like they are gonna be able to find the kill off the Vans Core as well. The hook comes through, but it's gonna be a little bit off the mark. Hold on. Keep two trying to run himself away, slow down. FN should be able to pick up the kill as Nyx gets the Shadow. Uh, the Stone Gaze even, sorry, Shadow Gaze. Nyx with the illusions as well from his Manta style. Is the chase gonna be there? The missile comes through to slow him down as well. He's burning through the manager pretty quickly as well. The Bosca trying to run himself away. These illusions doing great work, and the bonus rate comes back through. He finds the kill onto Nyx Assassin Blitz. He's trying to run himself away with the blade mail, but it's not gonna be enough. It's gonna be Four for one, it should actually be five for one. As Nyx Assassin buys back, tries to get himself back in, and Rush is available if FN dips his head back into the Deceiver this time. It looks like he actually may be able to find the Nyx with the Yule set to the reveal. The silence comes off and Ghost Stick. So Empire 25 to 13, 30 minutes in. Second row shot the game. Your song has fallen to the ring. Mortality! So Phantom Lottery has his heart now. Gonna go back towards the butterfly. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Dyer's middle tower. So push, silent, the posture, leaving the line. FN's picking door as well. The fortification comes out a bit early. 
go Nyx and Nyx will be back up in 19 and 14 respectively. This is how it should go down though, FM just leading the line, he's got himself the ages in a hat, so he's not really scared of anything. Yeah, this melee rack's taking a lot of harass now as well, Silent just sitting on the back. Right clicking with the rest of his team as FN tanks the front line. With the Nyx and the Medusa coming back up, Empire just don't stay too long. We know the can out if he gets a little bit quick and back to the way. I think there's some lane to push this in, but the chase is on. It looks like the cogs and the hook did land. Bansko gets taken down. Muriel picks it up with that Ice Blast. Fen moves himself. There's two heroes. This is going to be an impale as Ghostick was there for the backup. Double damage. So Muriel, halfway towards having the Agonim Sept and Nyx Assassin. Uh, what's he got? Let's take a look. Just as far as support items go, he's going towards the force staff, but he only really has that Blink Dagger. Medusa with the Mask of Madness, the Irish Guardian, the Agonim Scepter, as well as the Mantis Style. Beastmaster. Level 3 Necro. I think Sound spotted out by that high ground ward, four staffs himself up onto the high ground himself, and it looks like they just want to pick up the shrines now. Dyer's top shrine has fallen. So, Empire. Looking maybe to get a wraparound. Lizzie as well as Nyx are in the jungle. What spots out the courier going back? Meanwhile, Radiant Jungle, Yumi as well as Pikachu. So as now with Ghost Puck gets the up though, he can't get the Dream Call though, the two-man foil strike to fall down and now oh, the Dream Call used. It looks like Pikachu, Yumi. Well, they'll be taking a quick break. Buyback back available on the Beastmaster though, its assassin's already used this. So Empire, are they going to go finish off the mid lane racks again? Two heroes down, Nyx Assassin down for the next 35, no buyback. Silent wants to go, puts the homie missile onto the Medusa and goes to clinks himself up as well in the Potica. Coming in with the right clicks and it looks like the entirety of Empire stacking up FN gets the lance onto Blizzy as well, just to keep him back and those like illusions stacking up. He did buy back, he's still got himself the raw Aegis. Still available on the Phantom Lancer as well. It's going to be the raw on the back lines. The hook comes through onto the Gyrocopter as well. He is forced to have away from the Ice Blast. May take down as the Stone Gaze comes out. Aegis going to be popped. Epi sent the channel. The Blink Forest Strike comes through onto two as well. FN's back alive. This could be a great fight for the side of M19 though. They've already taken Aegis. FN going to take pretty low, taken down there by Nyx as well. The fans are trying to do what he can. And it's going to be three heroes going down on the side of Empire. Ghost links himself in though, tries to take down the clock with the force. That isn't going to be enough. Snake from Stone Gaze pops the Lincoln Spear. The Impale Sound comes back in with the BKB, trying to do what he can. Nyx is only on about half itself. No mana available for the mana shield as well. Ghostick, Pikachu throws the axes, the phase shift, keeping him alive. Ghostick should be able to get himself away on the high ground. Now silent. Gonna go to a Lincoln Spirit Soul. 28 to 17, if we take a look at the actual net worth graph, it's getting up there, it does climb a little bit back down after that last fight. And the XP graph dropping as well. So, Medusa going towards the Maelstrom. I actually think once he gets the gold for the, the Hyperstone, might have a full 
um, upgraded to Melania as well. Yep, she fin finishes Thor's hammer. Proven herself worthy, and is she going to be able to swing it enough to make the difference in this match? Well, then, FN stacking up with the solutions for the counter push. Nix is hanging around in his vendetta form as well. They do have the Beastmaster Muriel nearby. If they can find the right one, <laughs> which I don't think we can, there is so many of them. FN go for the TP. He's going to be able to cancel this with the Impel. Just gets it a little bit too late. And M19 rotated down for that kill. So, push coming in on the top lane. From the Radiant Empire, maybe want a second set of racks. And it is protected, it's the best line to push out when I'm still having to on the T2 as well as the T2 tower. It looks like they want to fight the cold, I'm just going to be using Dusa. If you want to hang around in this, he's only got about half a mana left, and the mana bone coming out now, of course, to use the snake for the regen. So I'll just right click him down for the rack, so it's going to be a big free call onto the Medusa. Keep it locked down for the fight, meanwhile the hook from the roar comes onto the silence, boys. Don't feel like it's BKB. It is going to be taken down by Muriel as well as the Ice Blast, taking him down to Blizzy. Trying to fight through. FN chasing down Pikachu. Can he get it? The Stone Gates comes out. Oh, the Illusion gets it just at the very end. And now FN just outside of the base. Yumi underneath the sentry now as well, being spotted out. But the melee rack still stands. It is going to be regening up. Piel gets himself an invis. Maposhka shows himself on the bot lane. Blinks right up into Blizzy. Is it going to be Hook? The Hook does come out with the battery assault and the cogs. The Impale as well. This could be a dead Sandy. Tries to drop the Sandstorm with the Ice Blast coming through. Doesn't even need it. Blizzy picks up the kill. And FN can do nothing but watch. So Vansko got himself a solar crest. Taking a look at the items again. Yumi is going to spot him though. There could be a kill on here. What was dropped? That's actually a sentry ward. And I think Dyer's Yumi walked himself into this. So Vansko immediately throws on the heel and starts to walk himself away. It's a Roche. 15 seconds. It is going to be a quick one. Nyx on the Medusa. You know, that's not confusing at all. But, um, what's he got himself? He's got himself... Looks like he's going towards the MKB. There's uh, FN. As well as the gyrocopter, I think, has both got a butterfly, so Nyx needs that, that accuracy chance. So, DD Medusa. Five heroes stacked up. I think they may go towards Roshan with the Hawk to be able to scout this out. M19 can move themselves into the pit. Radiant are scanning. The scan comes out. You can see the Dire in there. They might come for the wraparound as well. The Cold Axe is going as well. Onto three heroes. Nick instantly pops that battle field. And it looks like the Beastmaster could be taken down. FN throwing all his illusions now as well. Two heroes down already. Mural can't do anything here. Yeah, he has to set the as well. 
Snake's getting pretty darn low. Michael down the top to Stone Gaze. Sound force got thin that the Bowstrike does come through Yumi. So Aegis can be picked up by Yumi. Just runs himself away, but it's going to be four heroes down, and now the chase comes out. There's going to be Spike Carapace. Yumi being chased down by Sound. Tries to get the impale, but it's not going to be enough. Aegis can be popped. And the buyback option from Uriel. Maybe just to try and throw the Ice Blast out. Maybe pick up whatever he can. The Spirit Lance. Yumi gets taken down. And it's going to be three heroes, two buybacks used. FM and looking for the push. And with only two heroes up, no buybacks available on the side of M19. There should be a second set of racks. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. So the hook comes in, latches onto Ghostic. This could be a disappearance of the of Blizzy. He's going to be caught by the missile as well as FN and his army of illusions. Good game is going to be called M19. Unfortunately, going to be crashing up, but Empire moving on to face it up against Vega Squadron on the 28th. So Empire take the series 2 to 0. And M19 put up a good fight, but in the end just couldn't just couldn't sustain themselves and Empire win the second game. We are going to be taking a quick break. We'll be back in about 40 minutes for the second game of the day. You do have me all day casting. Um, the second game is going to be 